and she is already <laughs> meowing outside the door. <sighs> Hello, welcome back. Um, so today I was thinking of doing a little ColourPop try on haul. Um, <laughs> I have some things here that I got a little while ago. So I've been holding on to them for a bit and I'm very excited to play around with these. Um, and I have some old staples here that I've been using for a little bit. That's enough talking, right? <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Let's do some makeup, shall we? So I'm going to first go in with my, of course, my Urban Decay Hydromaniac. Um, after wearing this for a few times, I have to say, uh, it's not as perfect as I imagine. Um, I have only been using it with a brush and I will notice that I get dry, dry patches between my eyebrows and like kind of on my lip line. So I'm going to try with a sponge today. This is the Ulta brand sponge, really affordable. Um, I think it works well. I mean, a sponge is a sponge to me. So I'm going to use that today. I'm going to start by just kind of dotting this around my face. I don't know how much the sponge is going to shear this out. So let's just, uh, all right, we'll start with that. Mm. I don't know. I was really in love with this foundation at first. And now I'm not sure if I am anymore, honestly. With the sponge, it does a good job of evening out my tone and reducing redness. Um, but obviously since I'm using a sponge, it does sheer it out and the coverage has taken a hit. I'm going in with a second layer on my cheeks um, because I, I feel like I can still see some imperfections poking through that I'm not okay with. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't love it. I know that I like I really talked up a big game when I first bought this, but I think that my love for this is fading, unfortunately. Um, around the the lip area, it does look better, I will say. It does look better um, blended out with a sponge, um, but I still have like dry patchiness between my brows, um, and I don't like that the coverage was so drastically diminished. I don't know if I'll be... <laughs> Did you hear my husband cough? Anyway, let's move on. I have my NARS um, Complete Soft Matte Complete Concealer in vanilla. I'm just gonna help out these under eye circles a little bit. With this particular concealer, I do like using my finger because it is so matte and pretty thick that I like using the warmth from my finger to help warm it up, loosen it up, make it easier to apply. Help out around my nose area a little bit. Good enough, right? Let's get on to the fun stuff. Yeah, um, I'm really excited to try the ColourPop That's Taupe. So <laughs> until I watched someone else do a review of this palette, I always thought it was pronounced Taupe. I don't know, I couldn't tell you why. So then when I saw, <laughs> so the name, the play on words meant nothing to me until I heard someone say, that's taupe, as in that's dope. I was like, oh, 
I got you. I got you, Colourpop. I see what you did. So let's see. I've heard great things about this palette. I'm really excited to dig in. Um, I'm going to start with this lightest shade called Boo. I'm going to put that all over the... I'm going to put that all over my lid. I really like this color. Um, upon first application, this does feel a tiny bit chalky. A little bit dry, but not too bad. It's nice and subtle, which I appreciate, especially someone like me with very fair skin. Um, it doesn't take much for things to look really too intense and overdone. So I'm gonna go, I'm going one spot over into Pebble Beach and I'm going to build up my crease. Ooh. For a cool tone palette, that particular shade is pulling pretty warm, but I do like how easily this shade is blending out. I feel like it is blending out better than the previous shade. Boo. Boo! <laughs> <coughs> oh, it serves me right. <laughs> serves me right for having a coughing fit while trying to be funny. I had it coming. All right. That looks really nice so far. It's very subtle, wearable, easy every day kind of vibe. You know what I mean? What do I want to do? Oh my gosh. This one is so sparkly. I don't know if I want that all over the lid though. Okay. I'm going to go in to this middle shade. It is called Snake Eyes. Ooh, that is really pretty. And I'm going to press that all over. Oh, interesting. It doesn't look as intense once you are blending it out on the lid. Finger swatch is really intense. You can kind of lose that uh, once it's on the lid. I am going to get some of that super shiny, slated is the name, and I'm going to put that right toward the inner corner. Oh, that's not showing up. That's kind of annoying. Again, beautiful finger swatch, but I would, there we go, all right. It's nice that it looks good on my finger, but I would prefer if it also <laughs> looks good on my eye. Ooh, okay, all right. There we go. That's better, okay. I didn't even need to blend that out with the brush. That looked really nice just with the finger. So I'm gonna take, <clears throat> this deep brown shade called Bedrock, just a little bit, and I wanna deepen this outer corner. Okay, I deepened the outer corners a little bit. I didn't wanna to go too crazy with it and I'm just gonna clean up my outer under eye with some concealer, the same soft matte complete concealer from NARS. Oh, that, yeah, that looks better. Not bad. I do for something known as being a cool tone palette, I will say that this looks a tad bit warmer than I was expecting, but I like it. I like it. The um, For the most part, the shades were easy to work with, and I think those shimmers, it, it might take a little bit to build them up, but they're not bad. 
Next, I have the ColourPop BFF Liquid Liner. I'm excited to use this. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say anything about this. I could be wrong. Also, I have been practicing my liquid liner, so um, please forgive me if this is not the best eyeliner that you've ever seen in your life. I am trying. I'm trying to get better. Thank you. Okay, so there's a little, little baby wing of a liner. Um, I actually, I thought that this was a felt tip liner, but it is indeed a brush tip which I don't have, I don't really have a preference to either, um, but I really liked this. The formula was very, almost a little bit watery. It was very fluid, obviously. Very thin, but to me that made it easy to work with. And it almost had a little bit of sheerness to it, so you don't have to worry too much about messing up. I, I found it hard to mess up with this particular liquid liner. Okay, I think we did pretty good with that. So let's move on to mascara. I'm using my Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I really like this. I was using Lash Paradise is honestly, that's my go-to. Um, the thing with Lash Paradise is when you first open it, it's too thin. And then after a week, like the formula is perfect. And then after another week, it's way too dry and clumpy and looks terrible. So <laughs> it, um, it really does a 180 on you quickly. Anyway, I don't know what the point of telling you that was, but today I'm using Total Temptation. So let me put this on and I will be right back. So here is where we are at right now. This... This uh, eye makeup look is growing on me, I have to say. I wasn't totally thrilled with it at first, but I think once I have the liner and the mascara on, it looks really beautiful. And a nice daytime look, if you're okay with a little wing going on. I also want to mention that I picked up these ColourPop color sticks, little eyeshadow sticks, because um, I do want to get more into colorful liner, which I will be using these as liner, using them for different like little designs on the lid. I do want to do a, like everyone else, I want to do a Euphoria inspired eye look. So look out for that coming at some point in the future. I think it'll be fun. I'm just playing around. Don't mind me, I'm just a woman in her mid-30s trying to <laughs> trying to look like a Euphoria teenager. It's fine, it's fine. I have two brow products from ColourPop that I got. Um, the brow pencil, it doesn't have a fancy name, just brow pencil. I think I got the color, yeah, I got dark brown. It's just a little twist up with a tiny little spoolie at the other end. And I got their brow gel, also in dark brown. Nice, that looks promising. I think, I don't usually do both, but for the sake of trying things out, I am going to do both. All right, let's, hold on. Okay, so the color payoff is fine. It's not bad. I'm just really shocked at how dry this particular formula is. It's, I don't want to say it hurts, but I feel like if you're like me and you have some serious building to do when it comes to your brows, this might, I don't know. You know what? Let's keep going and see what happens. Yeah. Um, I'm not a big fan of this particular brow product. Um, the formula was very, very, very dry and I found it um, a bit too difficult to work with. So, you know, if this was all I had, 
fine, whatever, I'll use it. Um, but it's not, it's not my first pick. It's not my favorite. Can you hear her? That cat is still <laughs> outside my door begging to come in. Ooh, she's needy, but I love her. I love her. So I think, whatever, we're trying things out. I think I'm going to go in with the uh, brow gel over top just to see. Because this is, on camera, this looks very warm and very, a little light. So let's see how this does. The brow gel is decent. It's decent. Um, I'm curious to see what it looks like on another day when I do not have my brows filled in with pencil, but today looks pretty good. All right. The rest of my face is all products that you have seen before, so I'm not gonna talk too much about them. But I am going to highlight with Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. Yeah, you can see I still have redness peeking through since I used uh, a sponge with that foundation, which I haven't noticed before. Not before today, but you know, in previous usage of that foundation. Oh God, I don't know. We tried, we tried. For my bronzer, I'm using Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula. This is in the shade bronzer. And for blush, the NARS Orgasm Blush. My cheeks are glowing, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to put on some lipstick, make sure this hair doesn't look too wackadoo, and I will be right back. That headband flattened my hair a little bit, but you know what? <laughs> We're gonna roll with it. All done. I busted out my Stila, Stila, Stay All Day liquid lipstick in Beso. Beautiful. I love this. I didn't do a great job of applying it today. <laughs> That's okay, we're fine. Okay, so I loved this. Um, yeah, I think especially when, ev when all is said and done, when everything is on my face, this looks beautiful for a daytime look. And you could definitely smoke it up for a little nighttime zhuzh, if you will. Um, the brow pencil, I didn't love. I'm gonna keep it around in case I, I need a backup if I'm in need don't love it. The brow gel, I think I like it. I'm excited to use it again on a day when I do not have a pencil in my brows. Um, the color sticks, I'm very excited to use in a future video. <gasps> Stay tuned for that. Oh yeah, and the liquid liner I really like so far. Um, I was using a different liquid liner the other day and it felt the shape was exactly the same as this one and it felt really kind of tight on my eye once it finally dried down it was like i don't want to say crusty i don't know i am going to talk about it in a future video but i just i really really love this liquid liner i'm excited to use it some more um, let me get you a little closer the eyes look beautiful, really. Not too bad. Nice and subtle. Little daytime, little daytime glam for ya. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, that's enough. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me do some makeup. I 
enjoyed doing some makeup, and I enjoyed how this turned out. If you are so inclined, please subscribe and follow me for future videos where I just try on makeup and have some fun and try to get better at makeup. You know, that's what this is. It's a journey. It's a process. You don't care. I'll shut up now. Okay. <laughs> Bye guys. Have a good day. Suzanne, you wanted to get in so desperately? Say hello.